So now that we've mastered sending files out of AutoCAD to the laser cutter, we're going to go ahead and look at how to send files from Rhino. Personally, I think this is actually a little bit easier and it's a bit more streamlined. So for those of you who are already working in Rhino, there's no need to leave Rhino just to send laser cuts. So I've imported the file that we were just working on in AutoCAD and I'm going to go into my top view and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a project to seaplane. And what this is going to do, we'll click yes. And what this is going to do is it's going to make sure that all of my lines are actually on the seaplane of my file. This is really important to do because if you have any type of Z distance within your file, it will throw an error on the machine. The next thing we want to do is go into our layers. We're going to just make sure that all of our layers are set. So this has to say green, this should say red, and so on. If they don't say that and you're sort of down on, let's say, this blue where it doesn't have a name to it, you have to come up here and actually click blue. The next thing I want to do is go in and look at our print widths. So this is going to be really important for working with Rhino. All of your print widths either need to be set to default or to hairline. So if we click that, hairline would be another option for this. So now that we have this, we're ready to do a plot. So we can go to print. We're going to select laser cutter here, user defined landscape. Landscape, make sure that print to file is checked. The convenient thing here is that you don't need to do the universal laser. Um, it just doesn't require it coming out of Rhino. We're going to make sure that vector output is selected, display color. So basically we want what we're looking at to be the colors that it actually prints with view and output scale you can print out of different views i would recommend only sending out of your top view we're going to use a window and we're going to go in and set that so you can see i've previously set that um, so that's what our window should look like we're going to go down here our scale should be one to one again i would not recommend doing any kind of scaling here i would do all of your scaling before you get to this step Margins and position, we don't need to change anything here. Line types and line widths. So our default line width should be hairline. Um, this means that all of the settings that we saw over here where we had our default, it said default under all of our line widths, it will always default those to hairline. They need to be hairline in order to cut with Rhino. Visibility and printer details, we do not need to change anything in. When we go to our properties, we're going to make sure that black is skipped. Our red and green looked like they stayed the same from our last file. And our blue and magenta will be our cut at 107. So we'll go to set, apply, OK. Then making sure again that print to file is checked, we will go to print. We'll save this. We can save it as output, that's fine. And then printer files. So this is going to save as a .prn. So it's a different file format than will come out of AutoCAD. The AutoCAD ones are going to be .plt files. We'll go to save. We're going to open up our dialog box. And we're going to check our file. So we're on here. We're again going to have to click any file. Output.prn. We're going to go to open and we're going to go ahead and open our file. So you see, even though our black layer was set to print, because we skipped that, so because we set this to skip, it doesn't print, and what that allows us to do is be, still be able to move this file around. 